Giving it all we got Giving it all we can Giving it all we got oh. Climbing up to the top of the world No fear, we're gonna make it Everything we want is ours Whoa. Hey, hey, good morning, ouch! Dang it morning life on the Thai farm and I just stepped on a sharp object here so this is some buried some buried roof tile looks like uh, that wasn't from me that's probably been buried there for a while I just stepped on it with my slipper it could have been horrible because that stuff is you know it's it's cement board right or whatever so it's it's pretty sharp too I could have sliced myself open but I didn't I just took a, I took a little bit of a walk around the back area here and that because for some freakish reason it rained all night we went out to go check out this coffee fest it was like co coffee and craft fest pretty cool but um it was at one of these local uh, outdoor riverside cafes where everybody kind of caravaned out there and made all this, you know, drip coffee and stuff. And anyway, <clears throat> it was pretty cool. But then it started raining. We're like, eh, kind of raining on our parade right there. And it wound up raining all the way home and then all uh, the rest of the night. So now everything's wet. It was kind of a bummer. It's actually more of a bummer for our. Our neighbors over there that are building because you know building in the rain is not fun and uh, actually in the last two or three days I have been nursing my back because you know I <clears throat> I might even mention on a previous video but working on my pizza oven and all that somewhere along the line off it was because of wax my wife put on the floor or what but I slipped a little bit and uh, man, I arranged my back and I just can't get over it, man. I'm taking meds and stuff, but <clears throat> I got a, I'm on, uh, what do you call that? Limited duty. Here, man, check this out. See my, my PVC art that I made? I hung it up on this tree right here thinking that maybe stuff would start living in there. <clears throat> I don't see anything living in there, but I do see a bunch of dirt on there. That looks like it's from there. Maybe that's from the rain last night. Though. Anyway. But uh, I did see a couple things I can do today that maybe won't require too much effort. And uh, one of them is the gate on our house. You know, the the swing gate that goes in there I fixed it before because it drops right it's because it's it's long and I think because of the length it, you know it always wants to pull down for gravity and I don't have one of the, I could I don't know I don't have the thing you put a metal arm all the way out there to wrench it back up like that you know but I thought <clears throat> what I could do was you know, I could take it off and uh, figure out maybe how to fix it again with stuff I have here. You know, scrapping. That's what we do. I gotta bend down. I can hardly bend down too because that's the back problem. Bah, old people problems. But I do have this. <clears throat> I walked by. I have this one piece of teak left over from you know my boat remodel over there and um, I thought you know what I could probably use that teeth because it's strong you know and and use it like for cross braces at the corners to keep that thing in tow I'll show you what I mean I, something else over here I'll, I'll show you I'll, I'll, I figured I could probably do that too I can work like this because you know you know 
I'm not bending over or whatever. But the, uh, let me set the screwdriver down. But yeah, the gate, man. We got gate problems. Hey, cat, what's up? <laughs> a little yogi cat. So, you see it, it tails down. It should be here and it drops down. I fixed it already once, but you know, you don't have a big separation or anything. But it does separate because you can see right here, this is the this is the pieces, right? These pieces drop out of position. And the last time I fixed it, I put them all back in position. Although these are a little bit short. I actually even put that nail, I think that that's probably my nail right there. So now what I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take it off, square it up, and then maybe go like this, right? with that teak put it on the corners see if it can't firm it up maybe both sides <sighs> that'll be one of my morning projects what's up buddy <laughs> what's up and um my wife was looking for him this morning he was up in my clothes clothes rack whatever <laughs> snug up in there slept all morning so yeah <clears throat> so those of you remember when I put my garage up I went out and I bought this these uh you know I don't know if this is teak or my dang I think this is teak <clears throat> and um used pieces whatever and they just happen to be this size and I thought, wait a minute, and I put it up here, and I, so I put it, uh, made a facade, basically, around the cement, around the concrete post. Come out kind of nice, and then I, I just put these simple pieces of scrap around there also, because I needed to, it wasn't long enough, I needed two pieces. So I put that up there, and I just put this to block the seam of these two pieces. But what I thought I'd do, because the other one's falling off, and kind of falling off and I thought I'd kind of do like this over here which is um, my my rope design you know the rope I put around this tree stump actually to hold it together actually I did that because it broke apart but um I thought you know what I think I can put the the same rope design Round those things, it'll look cool. You know, I mean, I got a bunch of that rope laying around, so might as well use it. I like rope. <clears throat> My uh, peach kitchen yesterday. So before it started raining yesterday, I took out, I took the plastic off because it was kind of sunny outside and stuff. I took the plastic off the top part. I thought it might sprinkle the day before but it didn't and then when we were at the event late afternoon or evening yesterday that's when it started rain but I had already taken the plastic off and I thought oh my god so it rained on this but it <clears throat> doesn't seem to really have affected it this stuff's pretty rock solid even here, even though I put this little bit, it doesn't, it's not fall, it's not, it doesn't pull away. So, that held up. But check it out, so this is what I also did yesterday. I welded the grill together, I wound up doing it like this, weld this together. And then I made these metal platform for the coals. The holes are kind of big, but whatever. So I made the metal platform for the coals. Coals will go here, grill here, and then underneath here, again, this is just like a baking area, right? As long as the coals, I mean, I probably won't get too much coal debris down there, but anyway, I can put it in a little foil, whatever. But this is another baking area. It's got a baking area, cooking area. I could do them both at the same time. Once I get the heating going, I'm gonna cook all this, grill really hot, and then, you know, probably treat it in oil maybe even cook oil so I'll burn it in there so it all burns black I don't have to worry about the I don't have to worry about the rust 
cat following me over here. But anyway, let me get over there on that gate and uh, see what else I can do today without hurting myself. All right, back at you. Well, that gate project, dude, that was an all-dayer. I've just now got, you know, to the final part of it. I actually have it over here where I, I just got done. I, I put another whole coat of stain on it. And I don't know, but this is the other side actually. I put these corner braces and stuff. But seriously, man, what a task. I actually, you know, I, I, I figured I was gonna just brace it up and stuff, but then I started taking measurements and that and the two top the two bar the horizontal bars they're not the same length yeah man the vertical ones are not the same length and then you know you have the, the I don't know what you call it wedge bar or whatever so they put the they put the slats in there then they put the bar in there that you know kind of holds the slats you know so I popped out the I popped out that top wedge bar and um, none of the slats actually reach the slot so the slats were just kind of being held by the bar instead of actually in a slot that was made for them within the wood so anyway, i took the whole thing apart and then i had to uh is that my cat over there you better get out of there he's way over there dude um and i uh you know, I had to cut all the slats to the same length, you know, and then the bars, all the wood, same length. And then I even shorted up more, more hammers, bolts, screws, broke a wood bit. Nightmare. Hey, cat. Hey. He's over there jumping on stuff. He's like way over there. He's over there. That there's that white bag, and then there's a palm tree. I just saw him walking there and I saw him jump onto something, so probably eating a rat. But I don't want him. He sees my wife go walking over there to that house construction. And you know, he probably thinks, oh yeah, I can walk over there too. They were they were right after they were born, they're pretty much brought here, so this is their whole environment. And the farther he goes over there in them rice fields, the more likelihood he's not going to run fast enough to get away from a dog. Because dogs, that's they come right down that road and they come through here. They come right where the cat is. They'll use that walkway to, to you know, come into the farm basically. And uh, yeah, he's not going to get far enough. They, they, the dogs jump through the rice. They know how to, you know chase rats and stuff so they might as well be able to chase cats but yeah man so the the I don't even know what time it is either the gate thing took pretty much all day this is the rope I was gonna use I might as well go take a measurement see how much rope it's not a big job but just like every job <laughs> oh that only take me a little while and then bam, it's all day. What the hell? So. But yeah, now the gate, actually, I did add wood, right? I had the four corner braces and I added, uh, um, what else? I added some flat board on the bottom to raise it up so I could, you know, anyway. It weighs more now. It had two hinges. I think I'm gonna add a third one. So, yeah. Maybe that'll wow, help knock it out. Make it not do its thing. Let's set this here. You can see that. I needed 
I'm going to times it by four, see if it all fit. Well, finished. Let me know what you think, man. Boom. It's just a little, you know, it, it blocks the seam, right, where that one meets that one. And then I put it on all four. Although, might have to tighten it up. It's got six rows. Maybe I should do more. Man. I'm tired. Tired. Tired of it. I don't know how much more I can do, man. My body breaks down. I... I'm done. Charity in here gets so it's so dirty so quick in here, man. This this furniture. Mostly because it's just blowing wind dust from the fields, rice fields. Oh, it shouldn't be too much right now because, you know, they're just growing rice, so no harvesting or nothing. No burning. All right, man, well, a little update on my life here on the Thai farm. Another boring day, I'm trying to keep myself busy. That's the ticket, right? Alright man, well, thanks for watching, and keep watching for more excitement here on the Dive Farm.